Look at this beautiful day, February 8th, 2016. It is too beautiful out. Love it. Snow is going away. The birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day. So I'm just heading out to the art barn here. I got a little pile of stuff that I'm going to bring. And I only have just the one spare hand, so I'm just going to bring my water and come back for that later. Just going to do a little studio tour. thought we'd walk out here, though. So, it's hard for me to see what you see and not wipe out on this ice here and make sure I have everything in view. Anyway, so, here we go. Just head out to the studio. The art barn is looking pretty fun. We had to put notes on the on the doors because no one knows which door which door to go to because there's like one, two, three, four, five, and then my door's around the side, six doors. Everybody's like, what door? I tried to make a arrow on the glass there. My friend Amber Nader, she's like, nah, I don't like that arrow. I don't I'll just take it off. But I'm so leaving it. Look what she did with her car. Love her, but Mm. There we go. Mona. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, here we are. Ta da! I love this feeling. I don't feel it right now because I'm looking at what you're looking, but whenever I come in here, I just feel so good. I can't even tell you how good I feel. I'm gonna take my boots off. I will set you up here on this little Trisket thing and then you can look out and see. And then I'll take my coat off. There you go. I can see what's going on. Okay, so yesterday I came out here and it was like the end. So the sun was just going down, so it was cooling off outside. And I'm telling you that part of the story now because at first I was thinking because it was like making all these noises. The, the building was like creak, crack, thump, all these weird noises. And I got scared because I thought the shelf was full. I thought I had too much stuff because Colin, he's like, you can't put too much stuff on there. It's going to crash. So I had, you know, I had it loaded. And then I thought the noises were because the building was falling down because I had too much stuff on my shelf. Oh my gosh. So, oh, look at the light shining through the Bella skylights. It's like, ah. Anyways, distracted. So I took down those six, well, there's about seven or eight bins there. They're heavy loaded with fabric. And it is in the middle. So I think I might have to, I need some guidelines on how much I could actually put up there because it would really... Uh, be not good if that fell and especially if there were people here and just thinking about the mess that that could make so I have to I have to find out how much weight this shelf can hold and I have to stick to it because that's a liability anyways I'm going to pile these in the corner just to be safe because so there's probably like two four six eight 100 200, 300, 400, five, like a thousand pounds there, I bet. Okay, maybe six, 800. Six to 800 pounds. The, like some of those bins are heavy. So I don't know, is that, how much should I put up there? Anyways, like I said, I need to find that out. I started to set up for, so the, for the mommy and me class, which is turning out to be like the daddy and me class because there's a dad and his son coming and he's like my carpenter guy that built the shell so he's awesome so I'm doing these little things and little kits kind of starter kits and I put like some fabric in there so just the start of a junk journal for them um, they're gonna bring a photo black and white photo we're gonna put on the front and they're gonna make pages and they're gonna do jelly plate on the on the paper on the sorry the fabric then we're going to quilt the fabric. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm going to have two machines, possibly three I could have set out. 
I'll have the three machines set out. Cords are an issue. I'm worried about the cords. So I need to fix that. So anyway, um, I've got, my mind is, is awesome. Like I, I have, I'm planning ahead. Oh, you should see all the book work I did. I had, I took my computer in the house. Amber Nader had her course this weekend and I did book, book work for like probably 10 solid hours. And I, and as many of my artist friends know, book work is like, it's the hardest part of being an artist. So I do have somebody that I'm going to hire to help me do that. But I really, I have the time and I really want to get started. I know how to do it. I've done it before and I've been very good at doing it before. But at, at that time, I wasn't so, it wasn't like my art business. And that's what this is. So yeah, I'm going to hire someone. I could do you a little tour if you wanted to really see more stuff, but I don't know. You're like, I don't know what you want to see. The the studio tour tours. <laughs> the studio tours are the most watched. So I'm gonna clean up a bit and then I'll come back. I'm gonna post this. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see. What like do you wanna see this kind of stuff? I'll show you. Like, do you wanna see it when it's all tidy? Do you wanna see it in pro this is a little bit of a danger trap, but I chalk painted that and it's so awesome. That's for when they come and do their journals. That's a sample. It's like, do you want to see me dealing with that? I could take all that apart and organize that, but phew, do I want to do it right now? Not so much. Okay, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna rearrange for a bit and then I'll come back. We'll see you in a bit.